All right, guys. Um, just thought I'd do my first sort of teen sort of suggestion video. Um, Maybe relevant for most people anyway, a lot of this stuff, so still worth watching. Uh, I mean, if you're one of our regular followers. Um, I think today the first one is uh, temporary would be the key word. It's to understand that most things are temporary. Um, you know, it's a bit like when you're a teenager and you're falling out with your first love, all that sort of stuff, or like end of the world's coming, all that sort of thing. Then two weeks later, you've already found somebody new. That's the reality of it. When you're younger, it can be a bit of an emotional roller coaster, you know, because you're, you know, still developing, your hormones are all over the place. It's understanding that just things get better, the same as things get worse, and then things get better. Life is like that. Nothing, um, nothing's permanent. Everything changes. Everything can improve. Everything can. Um, be altered um, and the reason that's important is because it's not just about like relation, relationships like I say you know if you're in a uh, relationship you split up person that you've always wanted to be with all that sort of stuff it'll all be regret 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 don't let it drag you down what you got, got to understand is there's all other people out there um, and the focus shouldn't be on it's the end of the world, you know, which is where some of this ends up in that, you know, when you're younger. It focus should sort of be that something else will come along, someone else will come along. Things focus on what you can control, and and you'll find all the emotional roller coaster you've had at the end of a relationship fizzles out. Um, and the other thing I'd say with that is never hold any regrets or grudges um, because things in the past can often affect your future or present um, in a negative way when they don't need to. You know, for example, if you've had a bad relationship with somebody previously, when you're going into a new relationship, your thoughts may hold some of the problems you had on your previous relationship. I'm saying when you go into a new relationship, um, yes, be aware if you're seeing similar signs like a, an abusive partner in some way, you know, where, um, but at the same time, don't let that hold the relationship back. And that goes through for like working for new companies, getting a new job. The problems you faced on a previous job doesn't mean it's going to be the same in a new company. I've got to admit, with my industry, it does seem to be like heading that way quite rapidly. Um, massive brain drain and other issues, but at the same time, this is where, just an example from my perspective, is I recognize that it is an industry that is not in a good space, you know, um, especially at my level, because we're sort of driven to sort the finances out. And because I work in PFIs, which are the dreaded PFIs, uh, my side is driven to make a profit regardless of how other parts of businesses, whatever, are tanking and wasting money, losing it hand over fist and riddled with incompetence, etc. There is no, um, yeah, you you're there to compensate for that because we're 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 profit you know we we have a good strong profit margin which is based on strong delivery and pretty often we're doing three four times the workload you know per person um and the point is i recognize the problems in the industry and my focus is on getting the mortgage paid i see the problems i understand the problems but it's an means to an end is it the permanent end to end goal? The answer is no, and this is why it's quite important to remember: not everything is permanent. So, for example, mortgage is paid in Spain. I could come back home and find something to do online. I'm up in my Excel skills at the moment. I'm starting to learn Python. Um, my focus is going away from being. 110% focused on 
uh, the industry I'm in and my career um, to moving into other other things um, because it's moving from that to moving into stuff I want to do. You know, I I get paid well and I work hard for it. You know, there's no gift in this. I do a lot of hours for it. Um, but at the same time, I recognize it's not where I want to be long term. And this is the other part of this is like I say, everything's temporary, but it also means that if you're not happy with something, do something about it. So if you're in a job you don't like, steer towards something new. If you're um, in relationships that aren't working, change them. If you're um, struggling with your studies, understand they come to an end. You've got to understand with the education system, because um, a lot of it is driven around, oh, you yeah, end of the world if you don't get the best results. I look at least trust than some of these people in politics. These are university graduates, and they seem to be the dumbest people on the planet. Um, so don't just assume that everything revolves around your grades. It's about what you're good at. So some of this would be, for example, if you're artistic, you may not come out with great maths and English, but you'll have a great career doing CGI, graphics design, and other stuff that, funny enough, they don't even teach you at school. Um, so you've just got to understand, like I say, everything's temporary, but also... If it, if it takes you to the next level in something, do something about it. So, for example, if you're going to go into graphics, then you need to focus on that. So start evolving, even at a younger age. There's plenty of stuff on YouTube. There's plenty of things out there that can teach you the art of that trade. Um, and that's, that's one of the things I would say is, like I say, although everything's temporary... And you may be studying stuff you absolutely hate because, I mean, to be fair, I didn't study German at school. It was just that um, we used to hang around with the Polish girls that didn't actually speak much English. Um, so our German was much better. Didn't pick any bit up in school, same with my French. Um, didn't even study it, to be fair. I mean, I was supposed to. But I come out with all my qualifications, but in theory, some of them I hadn't even studied. Um, but the whole point of that is even with bad grades doesn't mean that's the end of the world mm -hmm. because one of the hard bits in life is actually deciding what you want to do you know a lot of people go through their entire life without actually understanding what they do um, I ended up in electronics because I sort of followed through what my father was doing but ultimately myself I should have gone into programming at I, a much younger age and there's been a lot of people I know said would have thought you'd have gone into programming and to be fair if I had um, I'd already be retired by now and that's the reality but no regrets on it because I've done a lot of other stuff um, electronics has allowed me to move into other trades and other skill sets because I've got a deeper understanding of how things work than a lot of the people I work with um, because for them, a light switch comes on and off. But I can design the circuits. I can take things to a much, much deeper level because I studied circuit board design. Um, but the key to all this is no matter what is going on in your life, you can change it and you can do something about it. Never just accept things are what they are. They don't have to be. And one of the things you'll see when you're younger is that they assume you've got to wait till you're over, say, 25 before you're sort of treated as an adult, which is completely, it's just nonsense. I mean, I remember a couple of the guys when I did my training years ago had a couple, you know, they had issues with, I'm not sure, even sure what their issues were. But later on, you know, because they, they assume that you're the T-boy type thing. Now... Don't get me wrong, I was young, but I was given a guy that couldn't do the job because I could do the job, but I was too young to drive. So he gave me, they gave me somebody that would actually drive me around and I would do the work and I taught him everything he knew. But, long story short, the same guys that had an issue, 
then had to come and work for me years later. They had to come to a job interview and be interviewed by me. Things change. Things are temporary. Things turn, you know, like there. They they wanted to be whatever they wanted to be at one time. Made my life difficult and then had to come and ask me for a job. You never know where you end up. But one of the key things is, like I said, is don't have regrets. Don't, don't get burdened with... Um, a chip on your shoulder about something or anything like that because it's those things that hold you back keeping a positive outlook and keeping the positive change and keeping things flowing and seeing that today could be crap horrible and a nightmare but tomorrow's another day and that's one of the things i do is like i'm having a bad day i might go i'm gonna bed early because tomorrow's a new start a new day because it's those types of things that will make your life easier in the long term because you can reset and you keep resetting if you have to on a regular basis because you may be coming up to something that is difficult, um, can be complicated, you know, what it, like I said, it could be a divorce, it could be um, something at work which is eating all your spare time and grinding you down. But ultimately, it may be a case of you get that project completed or you find your way out of that job. Um, the last company um, that I left was a very horrible company. Um, and I heard today one of the last people I know there is gone. They've all left. You know, company sitting there with loads of vacancies and still like, why is everybody leaving? Because they refuse to accept the issues in the business. But that's the point. You can either accept to stay there and accept you've got to do that or understand it's temporary and you're moving on. And everybody's moved on. So anyway, guys, um, let me know what your thoughts are. Put comments below. If there's any subjects you want to talk about, please feel free to uh, put them in the comments and I'll pick them up and do a video on it. Thanks.